seven thousand years from now, you won't be wrong. There's one thing I will tell you. What I write there is going to happen, but you won't know. But I, me, I have to tag along. The Spirit is in me, and I'm in Him, so I have to go along. And if you believe my word, you're going to be with me, and you're going to see that thing come out. But I predict you and I'm going to face it. But if you believe what this is, all this stuff going on, you're going to die with it and you won't go on, see. So it's in you. If you accept that, the Spirit is in you, in you. I'm in you. Spirits are behind me. That's real. And down the line, he believe that. And all believe we're on top of the world. What the hell is going on? That's our business. We're sitting here in the dust like we're sitting on top of the world, listening to my sounds. I met a lot of people, a million of people. That my book is all over the world, translated in different languages. There's nothing truth about it. I wouldn't go halfway. It goes because it's the other one I'm going to write. Half. Same with the Bible. First part have come Old Testament. Second part they use that. The last chapter of that the Revelation they call we're on that, on that book now. No peace. Rumors of war. So I have two more lectures tomorrow and the next day, then up to Vermont. Two more there in big universities. Come back here and going back to hell, where I come from. Land of sunshine, state of sunshine. Going to hell. But I will say now I'm coming back. Not now, but sometimes it's fall. There are some people who want to know more about the spiritual inside, what they're going to build up, and they're going to hit the wall because the preachers kind of knock it off, but they're going to get stuck with that. They need my advice. And I'm going to put that preacher way in the back into hell. If you've, uh, there's no potato bugs around here. You never see them, but you plant a potato bug, a potato here. I see grows up, just about good size. From the roots of that potato, there's some little ones growing, but the some of them, before them little one potatoes growing, them little potato bugs, they multiply in there. You see them crawl up on that plant there and trying to eat it up. So in order to let it grow, you got to get rid of all the potato bugs. And you have some more potatoes. It means that at the time you're eating a potatoes, you're eating potato bugs too. They're right with it. Same way as my book. When I plant that, it's there, all the book books start coming. <laughs> and there's a lot of books. And they think that all the books explain everything, but how come they want to jump on this one and try to eat him down? They can. I'm fertilizing that, killing all them books. I'm doing the talking. I had killed that Bible out of it. You still believe it? They come with that, but no. There's a, there's a glow around there. The Spirit should protect them. But that's God. Because they make that book a commercial now. 
just like I said. You could be a preacher. Learn that two, three times. And your preacher is going to recommend you, regardless if you're dumb. He's sent you to take care of some members there. You go out there and make your own uh, program. Say, you're the one's a member. You sell out $16 a month, $16 a month, 16 16 16 all around, and balance up your salary. Or either they already have it, so all you got to do is get in there, pretend that you're a good man. <laughs> Live by pretending to be good. Get paid to be good. That's not Christian. He showed them this way. He was on foot, Christ. He was on foot. Wherever he goes, he enjoys what the people are doing. He even made them no wine, gone, so bring all, fill it up with water, went like that, it's all wine. He wanted everybody to have a good time on a level see that they don't get into it. So enjoy the drink if you wanted to, but don't overdo it. He never did say, build up a church, just like that in Salt Lake, that temple. Big pipe organ, whatever it is. Thousands of people. They own the radios, TVs, newspapers. A man had just give us fifty thousand dollars donation. Says, so let's put him on a window there. Puts his name on there. He thinks he's going to heaven with that fifty thousand buying his he won't work out. Like and that church there, when nobody's in there, it's just a big chunk of iron or whatever it is, built up, standing up there. The book right I'm, I'm writing, that's going to crumble. That's no holy church. The spiritual is in you. There's the best church in the world for yourself, yourself, every one of them. So let's make it right. Be humble, share, listen, respect yourself. Don't let, uh, if anybody want to have a big date or get drunk or something, that's up to him. Uh, then stick his neck out. If he could make it right, why? Suppose if you're going to steal some gas out of my car, got your can there, so. Come and get it. But before you do that, my God, I'm going to turn that gas in there without knowing it. I put it in there. You take the gas, use it up sometime later. Instead of stealing, you're trying to make it right so you come out to my place. I'll be sleeping. Put that gas back. Next morning I get up and turn the switch on. How in the hell did I have a full tank? When did I buy gas? It's a miracle. If you could make it right, do it. If you can't, do do it. This is preacher supposed to bring it out instead of that. I forgive you. So that when he said that, the, the more they do it, I guess. Steal my jackknife. The preacher said he gave forgive you. So you're gonna steal his jackknife. Steal the preacher said he'll forgive you. Or he'll steal his jackknife. You'll have a lot of jackknives. Still the preacher said forgive you, so by forgiving you're gonna get rich. That's what we're doing. Gamble, gamble, gamble. There's one thing 
I was surviving a lot of times. There's one spot, give the white man a little bit of uh, knowledge in there. It said, Eve tempt you, just like we're talking about wives, eh? Tempt you, so from here on, you shall earn your bread with the swat of your lives. When he gave that to Adam, Garden of Adam was gone. He won everything. And at the same time, I want to own the whole world, but of course there goes Cain, got married all down the line, the one got killed, so from Cain down the line, killed his own brother, but we come from that generation, see. Cain's generation. Adam lived 610 years old. He didn't multiply anymore. I guess he got that old birth control at that time. That I don't know. If he was money playing right along at 610, he would have a lot of stuff.